you guys know that I think probably not just the best animation studio in the business today, but probably the best studio period in the business today is Pixar. They don't just make the best animated movies. They consistently just make great movies, whether it's their shorts, their longs, whatever, but they are clearly head and shoulder above everybody else when it comes to the world of animation. Well, guess what, guys? There's a new contender in town. Speaking of Peter Jackson, he helped develop Weta Digital. You know, that became like right up there with with uh, Industrial Lights and Magic as being like one of the top most respected visual effects companies in the world. Of course, Weta did a lot of the work on The Lord of the Rings and they've continued to do great work ever since. Well, they're going through a major expansion. Peter Jackson is taking them through a major expansion here where Peter Jackson and Weta are developing a brand new full animation studio that will be made to release feature films, television work, all that kind of stuff. There is a new senior player in town. Now, let me read this. I don't like to read the entire articles, but let me read this because there's a lot of good information in here. After a distinguished run as the visual effects house that brought to life Gollum, King Kong, and other incredible creatures for Peter Jackson's Middle Earth films and other film spectacles, including James Cameron's Avatar sequels and Avengers Endgame, Weta Digital is making a major expansion. Jackson and Fran Walsh, that's his partner, a 25-year-old concern is launching the offshoot Weta Animated to generate for the first time original content in animation for cinema and the streaming platform. Now we're going to jump down here a little bit now because this is key as well. How involved is Peter Jackson going to be in, in this? Pretty damn involved. Majority owners Jackson and Walsh will underwrite the creative ambitions of what an animation by scripting, producing, and directing several animated projects for the company. They are in the midst of working on a live action film that Jackson plans to direct, but they are determined to give their level best towards giving Hollywood a truly independent factory for state-of-the-art animated fare. And then this is what Jackson said. We are huge fans of animated storytelling and in all of its forms, but it can be a long, uh, protracted, and often costly way to make movies. That's, in part, why we have created this company, to change the model and open the doors for filmmakers and storytellers who might not otherwise be given the chance to show what they can do, Jackson said in a statement. So once again, for those of you just joining us, this to me is honestly, as far as the industry goes outside of movie theaters shutting down, this is the biggest piece of industry news that I can recall in the last decade. I mean, seriously, this might look like a little blip on your radar. This could have major long-term ramifications. You're taking a company that's as great in visual effects as Weta. And remember, visual effects, a lot of visual effects is just animation. A lot of visual effects today is, in and of itself, animation. We've had that discussion before. I remember even back in the day when I used to work at a visual effects company, yeah, we were a technically a visual effects company, but we also had the word animation in the title of our company because it's, I mean, while they are two different art forms, they are very close cousins. They are very close cousins. So we do visual effects for some movies, but then we would also do some little animation stuff at the same time. Weta clearly has an infrastructure technology and the talent to do great animation. The question becomes, just because you have a video camera doesn't mean you know how to make movies. Will they have great storytellers? Well, look what they're starting with. They're starting with Peter Jackson. Not only as their owner, he's going to be producing, writing, and directing. That's the key one, directing. He's going to be producing, writing, and directing a lot of feature films and then opening doors for other storytellers to come in and do that. I think this is fantastic news for two very important reasons. Important reason number one, I think what a digital paired with Peter Jackson is, they're just going to make great movies. They'll make some bad ones, but I think they're going to make great movies. The talent there from a technical point of view, the talent there from the creative point of view, it's all there. Great thing number two about this story is this, another major player in the world of animation. I'm a big fan of, of animated stuff, good animated stuff. I don't like Marvel and DC straight to home video animated stuff, but I love animated features. And really, for the longest time, while other studios have put out some very good stuff, there hasn't been an animation studio like Pixar that has just consistently put out quality product the way they've done it. 
So to have another player come into the game, to light the fire to the back of Pixar's heels and to give Pixar a run for its money, and who knows, maybe even surpass Pixar, there are, we're a long way from that. We're a long way from that. But I'm just saying, I think this is nothing but good, and I think the ultimate winners in all this are going to be you and me. I think the film fans, the people who appreciate good animated films, getting Peter Jackson into the director chair a little bit more, all that kind of stuff, I think this is great news from top to bottom. So the question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Do you think Weta might be overstretching a little bit? Do you think just because you're good at one thing doesn't mean you can make great movies on your own? Or do you trust the fact that Peter Jackson there? Are you excited about it as me? Or do you think it's not a big deal? Jump down into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.